How frustrating is it for you though that Shelley Winkle is actually coming in public domain and, and wearing weird, weird. And, I and also Deontay Wilder, why is he emailing you? Why is it not coming from his manager? Yeah, it's, it's all weird. And like the most, like Shirley just has lost the plot, completely lost the plot. I've got under his skin and I've, I, I mean, I saw Lou DiBella last night having a go at me saying, son, you're disrespectful. Like where I come from, you'd get your ass kicked 14 times over. What, Harvard? I believe he went to Harvard. Like, not being funny, I'm not saying I'm a bad man, but like, I grew up in Essex. I went to college in East London, but I'm a Silver Spoon kid. What's this geezer? Where does he think he comes from the streets of Brooklyn or something? So he's got nothing to do with it, but the thing is, is when you're just planting things with the media all the time, it's going down really badly. And the person I spoke to today, I told him, that's not gonna, that's gonna kick, kick it back the other way. Because AJ keeps saying to me, why do they keep giving all the emails that they're sending to the media? And I said, I don't know. The only thing I can say is to try and... Uh, and Wilder, you know, on Instagram, this, this. Wilder sent AJ a message on Instagram. You know, just saying that I'm robbing him. He can't let this happen. And he's like, what? But uh, it's, it's weird because people who want to get deals done do it behind closed doors. And I don't mind talking about it. I'd rather not even talk about it with you. I spent all last week talking about it. But when I'm getting pounded by questions, I have to give you the answer and the truth. But this fight gets made by some intelligent people who know the boxing business, working hard behind closed doors to get it over the line. That's how it gets made. And it probably don't get made with Eddie Hearn and Shirley Winkle. That's the truth of it. And again, you know, I know Lou was like, Pete, the problem is, one of the problems in America is sarcasm don't really work. Yeah? So, like, when I was telling them that I'm not really calling him Shirley Winkle, but it's stuck in my head and I can't get it out, and I just, they, they were like, really? Like, I was like, no, that was, that was a joke, but um, I don't know. But like, I don't start in this. Shirley Winkle started, he pulled out an email in public, and Luda Bella coats me off all the time. I'm not going to let him coat me off. He's done. Eddie, but what's encouraging you? I'm hearing that you're going to go with the camera. You're going to come no, out. I was with going to, but I just, I had a good, just, like, just a conversation today with someone that I know can help. And I, I was asking him the questions that I hoped they'd answer, some of them. But I can't rely on him for the necessarily the truth. I believe him, but I need it to come from them. So he said, send it to this person, you know. Let me try and talk to them. Let me tell Shirley just to stop with your games and let's work behind closed doors to try and make this fight happen. Like I said, it's on me now. My client wants this fight and he believes in me to put the right deal together for him and I won't let him down. Every move that we've made has been absolutely flawless and if we can get to the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world, by making those flawless moves, that's a great achievement in itself, and we'll protect him, we'll protect his rights, we'll protect his interests, and we'll make sure that if we gamble in this fight, because it's a massive gamble for both guys, that it's fair, that it's honest, and that everyone gets a fair crack at the whip. You mentioned before you went to Brooklyn, I spoke to you that the Povetkin deadline was, wasn't too far ending. Mm -hmm. And yeah, end of this week, and then they'll talk about Paul in Perspid, so probably like two or three weeks is probably the window to make this fight. This fight can get made real quick, like, I know people think sometimes it's miles away and one day it can feel like miles away and then the next day it can feel like, wow, this is quite close. And if we get positive answers to our questions, it will be close. But until we get those answers, we don't know. Eddie, I don't want to keep a lot of people mm. waiting, but we'll catch up during the rest of fight week. It's a busy week. Look forward uh, to it. See you Wednesday. See you Wednesday at the workout, wherever that may be. It's actually announcing it tonight, <coughs> Spitterfields. Is that early or is that 12 late? till 2. I'm glad. Yeah. Liverpool are playing Roman. It's a big card. I mean, like, sometimes we make these cards and you have two kinds of cards. You have big names yeah. in competitive fights, but not always 50-50 fights. Or you have slightly smaller names in 50-50 fights. Both ways you get unbelievably moaned at. But what we have on Saturday is four 50-50 fights in David Hay against Tony Bellew, Jamie Cox against John Ryder, Paul Butler against Emmanuel Rodriguez for the world title, Martin Ward against James Tennyson, 
and Joe Joyce against Nemroy Thomas. I think he's a big favourite in that fight, but it's still a really good heavyweight fight. Boatsy on the card as well, so it's a really good night. Yeah. Eddie, pleasure as always. We Cheers, shall mate. see you on Wednesday. EddieHomeforFire.com, thank you very much.